Welcome to the art project. In this video, I am further elaborating on AP 2D art and design, 3D art and design, and drawing, particularly working in our sketchbooks. And so if you've watched the other videos, you'll know that I'm doing a series or body of work or sustained investigation regarding a dartboard that I found on the side of the road. So I came up with some more ideas the other day, but I didn't have my sketchbook handy. So I cut, uh, or I, first I took the notes on a piece of yellow paper that I did have handy, and then I uh, cut them out and glued them into my sketchbook. Uh, this is really important for a couple of reasons. One, uh, you need to write down your ideas. If you don't write down your ideas, you're going to forget them. Number two, um, ideas are going to come to you uh, even when you're not prepared. You need to be uh, willing to write those ideas down on a napkin, on a piece of scrap paper, a piece of uh, receipt, whatever kind of paper you got handy. And then, in addition, I like the fact that it's not just all clean sketchbook paper. So I wrote down these ideas, and I took uh, some pictures of some of the ideas uh, the way I kind of envisioned them. Now, my dartboard is in my studio, and my studio is not really part of this uh, sustained investigation, although I guess it could be. So I will probably repaint these so that... Uh, my studio is painted out and the focus is on the dartboard itself. Um, some of the ideas that I had were just easier to take pictures of from the get-go. Uh, and that gives me a good reference photo. I think that you should take your own photos. Uh, because if you use ones from the internet, then you're bordering on plagiarism and appropriation in a way that might affect your grade later on. So anytime you can take your own reference photos be sure to take your own reference photos. And a problem with that is that we find ourselves being lazy a lot. It's like, okay, I, I've got this great idea involving a couple of people and I need to um, you know, have them interacting, but I just don't feel like getting my camera out and getting them together and, you know, or I'm embarrassed to tell them what I want them to do and you know, so on and so forth. You gotta get over that. Uh, if you're an artist, you're gonna have to uh, cross some uncomfortable lines sometimes to, um, to see your work through and work is generally better from a um, reference photo than from the top of your mind so there's what I wrote on the yellow paper including Barbie on a dartboard <coughs> I don't know if I'll do that one or not um, I kind of trying to figure out what sort of story I'm trying to tell there by the way I have a piece of uh, a magazine that I'm using to do all of my cutting on top of I don't want to cut my drawing paper or my sketchbook or the table so I'm using the magazine as a um, place to cut I'm using this um, uh, card to trace and get the basic format of what a canvas would be you can use a playing card or a magic card or whatever kind of card you have handy um, make a little template if you if you want to keep it in the back of your sketchbook uh, and then for the um, images or for the ideas that I wrote down that do not lend themselves well to a photograph such as an abstracted sketch um, sorry an abstracted dartboard or a dartboard that has been exploded uh, I'm doing sketches of that of the various ideas and one of the things that's really important when you're doing sketches in your sketchbook is also color and so I wanted to uh, show the color of the dartboard or experiment with the color uh, but as it turned out in my studio at home I don't have a lot of color pencils or markers uh, something I need to fix but I have a lot of uh, acrylic paint and uh, pens and um, oil paint and that sort of thing but I don't have any colored markers or pens or pencils so I just kind of used what I had handy I had this one strange colored um, marker which is uh, a fabric castell that doesn't bleed through the paper and that was kind of important I had a black pen to do the black with and I had a I think it's kind of a maroon uh, G2 pilot G2 pen uh, that I could use as well and then I had a green highlighter so I just kind of used whatever <coughs> whatever I had handy to uh, to do this with and the next one at the end you're going to see that 
I did the background. I didn't want to leave my background white in either picture or in any picture. White is a uh, color that you shouldn't um, have as a majority in your painting. I don't think um, that's a just kind of a rule I have. But um, for the background in the second one, I used coffee. I had some coffee handy. Take another sip of coffee right now. And um, <clears throat> so I used coffee in the background. Uh, you can see in the video when I get to that point, it's kind of um, gritty. It was sort of the dregs of the coffee, um, but uh, I painted it on and used a paper towel to wipe it off, and it l left a, a really good color. I, I like the way it turned out in the background. In this particular composition, the segments of the dartboard are really exploded and mixed up, and so uh, it's a little bit more abstract. And you can tell how this could work for 2D design as well. So while most of my concentrations, most of my sustained investigations, or most of my drawings are realistic, maybe, or uh, objective, uh, you can also use uh, this sketchbook method for doing 2D design projects as well. So uh, keep all of that in mind. This um, AP Studio Art or AP Art Design Manual is starting to become kind of easier. Uh, I'm starting to understand it a little bit better. Um, so I encourage you to read through it and uh, outline it and continue to research it. Uh, one more thing about the sketchbook that I should point out is it's a lot cheaper to draw and paint and tr test ideas out in your sketchbook. That's just cheaper. Uh, a big canvas or a big piece of drawing paper is more expensive and it takes more time to do it. So you're wasting less time by drawing in your sketchbook first and making your mistakes than you are for going straight to the big paper. And whenever that's possible, you should do that. Anyway, thanks. Time for you to go make some art. Subscribe or Barbie gets it. <laughs>